Hey there, I'm John Cohen, partner at NextLaw, and today I'm going to uncover the shocking truths about distracted driving in Ontario that you need to know right now. Distracted driving unmasked. It's not just texting. When we talk about distracted driving in Ontario, it's not just about texting. It's any activity involving handheld devices like smartphones that steals your attention away from the road. And trust me, the risks are bigger than you think. The harsh legal reality of distracted driving. Let's dive into the uh, legal side of things. Under Ontario's Highway Traffic Act, Section 78, Subsection 1, using your phone for texting, calling, or even just holding it while driving is illegal. And the law doesn't take this lightly. The penalties that will make you think twice. Caught distracted driving? Get ready for some serious consequences. For a first offense, fines range from $615 up to $1,000, plus a three-day driver's license suspension and three demerit points. And it only gets tougher with repeat offenses. The long-term fallout of a single swipe. But it's not, just part, it's not just about the immediate fines and suspension. A conviction for cell phone or distracted driving can send your car insurance rates through the roof. We're talking about a long-term financial impact here. So your secret weapon against distracted driving charges, if you've been slapped with a distracted driving ticket, don't panic. But don't delay either. Legal advice and representation are crucial. With a law firm that specializes in this field, you can potentially reduce penalties um, or even contest the charge. The key takeaway, the first step after a distracted driving charge is getting the right legal strategy. It could save you massive insurance hikes and license suspension that will haunt your driving record for years. Stay safe, stay informed, and remember, we are here to help. For more legal insights, make sure to like, share, or describe um, our YouTube channel. Drive safely, everyone.